Today we're going to show you how to change the transmission pulling and bearing kit on your washer. And it's a really easy job. All you're going to need is a small flat blade screwdriver and a pair of slip joint pliers. Let me show you how we do it. Now to do this repair, we are going to have to pull the washer away from the wall, so we'll disconnect the power and the inlet fill hoses as well as the drain hose. And then we can pull it forward enough that we can tilt it on its back so that we can access the bottom. Begin by rolling that belt off of the lower dry pulley. And set it aside. Next we'll pop off the dust cap. And then remove the E-ring. Next, we'll slide off the lower cam and the pulley, as well as the flat washer behind it. A wave washer, a thick washer, thrust bearing, and a thin washer. and a large spacer washer at the very top. And we'll start by inserting the new spacer into the thrust bearing. Just snap it so that it becomes one piece and slide that over the shaft and into the opening. Next we'll insert the pulley and then we're going to apply grease to the cam edge on that pulley And we'll install the lower cam as a flat surface and a cammed surface. So the cam surface will mate with the large pulley. And we want to make sure that this portion fits in the wide opening. And then just rotate it until it lines up, it slides onto the spline of the lower transmission shaft. And then with a the flat blade, we're going to pull that transmission shaft forward. We'll next take the thicker of the two washers and we're going to install that on the shaft next. And again with our flat blade we'll just pull that shaft out far enough that we can start the E ring. And then with a pair of slip joint pliers, we're just going to press that into position. Now we'll check for adjustment on that pulley. There's a little arrow on the lower cam that needs to line up between this ridge and this ridge on the outer circumference of the pulley. As we're turning it counterclockwise, that arrow should be between those two reference points when the transmission starts to turn. And you'll feel the resistance of the brake we're turning that and you'll see the arrow line up between these two points. 
So we know the adjustment is okay. And if it's not, you'll need to either add the thinner washer to the bottom or replace the thick one with the thin one. And that is included in the instructions that come with the kit. Okay, next, put the drive belt back on. We'll hook it around the pump pulley and the motor pulley. And then we'll rotate it onto the main drive pulley. And finally, we'll install the dust cap. And we're ready to stand the washer up and reconnect the water and the electricity. Now that we've reconnected the inlet water supply and the drain hose and plugged the washer back in, our repair is complete.